good advice for Marcus to not just blindly say my lord in front of others. He's a bit of a problem child. Pretty much explains everything. Extent. Yeah. One of yours, then, I assume. So, Hildum is the first ranger. Good fighter. He, um, well, he died protecting me, doing his duty. He was the, uh, I've had people die before. You know, but he was the first person I don't know you have a re responsibility to your soldiers, right and casualties are expected, but I don't know. I guess he was my first. I saw him like an older brother. One that you weren't ready for? No. Not at all. I thought my first one would be... I don't know, some footman or something like that, you know? I didn't think it... I could promise you this, when you're responsible for leading, the first is always the hardest. Yeah. And quite frankly... Ha! <coughs> you never really truly get used to it. You can only understand it. It was described to me as you never fully learn to shoulder the grief. Your legs just get stronger. And you carry it with you. I just don't another way of it. want yes. it to be for naught, I guess. And a character would Faye know that he knows that you know that you're Kyler? I was wondering if she can speak your name freely or if she'd be known to keep it still. You asking me? Yes, I'm asking you. I've only just found out that he knows in character. So. Yep. Who told you? I'm just saying. Is he it... found out on his own. Oh. Well, then she'll just keep calling him Shriek because she doesn't know what it was then. All right. Uh, Shriek, I want to show you something, if you don't mind. Just so you're aware of it, and you can relay it to your father. Come here, Ruff. If you ever seek refuge, you are welcome here. Our plan is to have the Palisade completed before the Imperium arrives. Along with an emergency in place with the help of Tang, who's going to rig it so that it can be collapsed on our departure, if need be. Ahem. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Ugh. He has planned to do tunnel a straight line. If he's correct in what he's told me, Tang will punch out really fairly close to where the Van Folder waterfalls is, away from the troll, but enough where there's a trail and a bridge where we can exit this province fairly quickly through this tunnel. It's a lot of work. Aye. Tang figures he will be able to make it in time. I've already have all the beams he needs. If I have to He's flee this province to another fucking and cave, I'm gonna lose my shit. I swear to god. Hey, at least this one is very not too far deep. Yeah, and, and it's, it's built by someone I trust. Straight. Yeah. Yes. So he's even cutting the steps in it to go down there, so it shouldn't be much further, and then it's going to be just a straight line. You have to hop. I'm going to fix this later, but just hop up here, yeah. Thanks. Uh, did I even make this grabbable or not? No, I didn't. Motherfuck me. <coughs> yeah, just hop. <laughs> I have human speed. I cannot. Run, yeah, you like it here, don't you, buddy? Before you leave, may I have a word with you? Sure. For a moment. Lead the way. I'll be right with you in a moment. Give me a moment long, Mr. Rick, please. Sure. Ugh. Kyler. I have a request of you and your father. That is my friend. As the future lord and lord of Gwen, I have a request to make. Very well. As your father has said in the future when you all finally leave to go do what you must to retake what is rightfully your birth right now and your father's land his true home I believe in my heart y'all will succeed y'all must succeed Otherwise, the Imperium will never know true defeat. I know it's going to be quite a long time before we see each other again, if that ever comes to pass. You know 
And I know, and Lisa knows, we are going to live for many, many years. <laughs> the gods willing we don't die in battle. Or to some magic fuckery. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know the eventuality will come. That when I get word that your kingdom is liberated and that you sit upon the throne because I know by that time hopefully your father had only passed of old age and nothing more because I know by the time we make it there he will be he will be gone I know that I'm not blind to it I will request both you and your father's signature, if he agrees with it after you talk with him. When I am done finding out who I am, and the mystery of my people in our past, and whatever other mysteries I can find, I want to seek the land of Giwen as my lasting home, my resting place. I don't want to move anymore. I don't want to go anywhere anymore. After I'm done with my search, I want to settle down. And knowing that you will be the lord of your lands, a good lord, one that will live for many years to come like I will. I know if anything, I could be of a boon to your country to your lands. I just want your father and you to think upon it if you would have me. I will definitely bring it up with him, but I feel like we already know the answer. You will always have a place among our people. You and your family. Everyone here. It was never a question, never any doubt in my mind. You always have a place among us. And we'll make it happen. Should you need it. You have my word. Well, I heard... <laughs> well, I heard from your father. Me just thinking about it. He said his lands were great plains and that a lot of y'all's keeps were built upon rocky outcrops and whatever trees were, you know, what little forest there was. Mm. If I'm able to, over the years, while you are gone, hone my craft, I will bring you what y'all never had. Forest of Green. I will bring the knowledge and the know-how to bring you forests of plenty. And with that, hopefully, nothing like what happened to your father will ever happen again. Because it will no longer be nothing but planes or cataphracts to run his men down. The I will battle. bring the knowledge to bear that I gained over the years. The battle to retake Giwen is going to mm. be brutal. We will lose yes. many, many good people, and the land itself will be scarred. Having you there to help repair it would be an honor. <laughs> the honor would be all mine to be able to finally have a home and a family close by that actually views us more than just a tool to a country, but actually tr true friends that will always stand beside you and die for you. Of course. In your beliefs. Thank you, Faye. Before you leave, I will have something special for you. 
but only the day when you leave. I hope it will serve as a boon to you and to the people that you might meet. We need all the help That's we all can, I can get. Say for now. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> You're very welcome. Tyler Earnhardt. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Shall we? It makes me smile every time I say it. <laughs> if that tells you anything. <laughs> because no matter what happens in the futures to come, And I finally grace your father's presence again in the future that he will finally be at rest. I will know he will be resting with a smile on his face knowing that you are at the throne. You flatter me. <laughs> it's not flattery, it's the truth. It's what I believe in my heart. And I believe in what he said. It's going to be hard. It's going to be brutal. It's going to cost a lot. But if the end result is the dream that I have in my mind of a place where all races have somewhere to live, then that's worth every drop of it spilt. We'll make it happen. I hope. Mm. I'm sure you will. But first, we gotta get this place in order. <laughs> you staying here tonight, or you're coming back with me? I'm coming back. I don't belong here. Well, it's not my place to say, but I dare say you belong with your kid. There's still work to do. And as long as I'm still breathing, I'm going to make sure this country is safe for her. Well then, Clifford and I will be bidding you all adieu. Okay. We'll have the female wood elves look after the baby. They'll take turns because we're all working in shifts anyway, so. There'll be plenty around to watch over her. And I got your list of things to get. Alright. Alright. I'll meet you over there. Drink. I would ask that you not tell your father, either. I want him to tell me when he's ready. <coughs> Until tell then, he's merely a blacksmith. Tell him what? Gave you my word. Fucking oh, you fucking bitch. Would have been so much cooler if it didn't look stupid as fuck. Yeah, right. And quite honest, it just works for me. <laughs> Must be really nice. See you tomorrow. Look after those two. Oh. I hope he comes out all right. Yeah. Me too. Take care of that fucking kid. Today. Uh, it 
If I ever drop another one, I'll let you have one. They never rot. You just gotta keep it hidden, though. Your special kind of apple. You know what? Do you make L out of apples? I can. It's called brandy. But with how everything many going apples on would right you need? Now, I'm just curious at how many apples need you about, need. Maybe about five units of raw food, so about five units of apples. Well, how many, uh, is it three units of raw food to make a meal, right? Um, so yeah. basically, I w basically I would say two of the apples, because each apple is worth a meal in itself. So, I'd say two apples then. Probably be a good estimate. Because that's six raw foods. Uh, okay. Yeah, I heard, what did they do to your place? They said they bashed some equipment up, or? I'm... I can't make my product anymore. It destroyed everything. All of the current stuff I was working on, all of my equipment to make ale, it's all gone. Uh, why would why would they do that? that? That means no brew for them at all. It makes no sense. They, they could have just said... <laughs> exactly. They want to show that they have power. They're going to show as much as they can until we do something about it. Well, take a tally of what it, what they broke and what it would cost to get stuff fixed. I'll try and help you where I can. Right. Okay. Stay safe, all Remember, of you. Remember, we're all in this together. <clears throat> we will. You too. Stay safe on the road. Coming back with us, Lisa. I'll walk with you over there. No, she's just walking over there with you. Sure. See you tomorrow. Mm, see you tomorrow. Take care of your father. <sighs> How you feeling? Just get me out of here. No need to ask twice, buddy. Hurry back. Make sure we're there for when everybody returns. All right. I don't grab my hips too tightly.
I wonder how many good men are gonna die during this stupid endeavor of reclaiming the stone mine. Too many. Like if that. it was just the men, sure, there wouldn't be much problem. But the fact that the orcs will most likely show up as well will be a problem. The robber baron has enough men to take it back, and the orcs have enough men to take it if the robber baron's not the one keeping it. Either way, we don't hold it. going around that the robber barons close to the hunter's lodge yeah rumors going around that the robber baron is going to start an attack on the city in the next couple of days it's good that you got cat out of there <laughs> that would be... <sighs> if all goes to plan yeah. we'll get to him before he starts it let us pray and hope that then around the middle. Isn't this a brewery up here on the right? It's a vineyard. They specialize in making wine. Maybe you could part-time there for a little bit. No, this is all owned by a nobleman. Hmm. The fuck is this? Yeah, what's going on here? Fine. Uh, I'm starting camp time. A I, I have so much firewood in the camp, but I can't bring people in there. Hmm. Looking for more company? You can join? Sure. Are there? Yeah. I'll, uh... Food and drink. <clears throat> I'll see what's happening in the city, and if I'm free, I'll swing back around. There's nothing in you the will, city. Basil and Markle are in the on. map. That's literally it. We are the four survivors Actually, of the town. Wow. You could bring some food from your place. Because right now all I have are, like, fruits and grains and... Mmm, my favorite. I'll see what's happening. I'll swing back if I can. Do you think it'll all work out? The plans we have in place? I want to say yes, I do. I don't know. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of, uh, stupid people involved. Could go anyway. We just need to be able to not fumble it completely. Recovery and such. Right. You guys would hear a horn in the distance. One that you've heard living in Nautis before that signifies one of the barons are returning to the keep. Sounds like we got back just in time. <clears throat> yeah, jump off here. <clears throat> Pretty sure.
fix my ear. Sounds like it. Hey. Yo. You guys hear that horn? The other so they're going to get what did you see? As you squint through the trees, you'll see rows of men marching down the road. Oh. Men in orange. Well, Warden's walking, that's good at least. So, I take it things went well? They don't look too bloodied. Where's Hopper? He might be hiding behind someone. Okay, there's some still coming. Okay. Interesting. Shrek. The man who uh, had a gone who ordered a pipe and never came back. Might have been me, correct. Apologies, you are well. As well as I can be. Are we still? I was told that you were taken up to the keep. A couple of days ago, yeah. Today. Mm, that's not the case. I was told the, the blacksmiths were taken to the keep today. He pulls the pipe out of his backpack. The blacksmith was taken to the uh, the clinic. And I was misinformed. Forgive me. I was given reason to be concerned for you, young one. You should always be concerned. Um, Miss Venora, Wolf, and Harry made their way back home. Just so you're aware. Then I shall make my way there immediately. Thank you. Uh, Pierre. Uh, where's Hopper? He went last, didn't he? He went with us. He is safe. The lad was smart with every choice he made. I was rather impressed. Yeah. Okay. Good to know he's okay. The peasantry survived. Our, ca our casualties were minimal. That is good to hear. But I will say one thing. I don't think I trust Kovaz after that. That was... Oh. That, it was far more dangerous than it had any need to be. Hmm. We are lucky to have survived. Good day to you both. Yeah, see you. Care to elaborate? Yes. I could have a word with you. Sure. I would ask that we uh, come over here. I feel short for now. Excuse me, Taylor. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I shall tell you all. I had only but recently found out about this. But the assault of uh, friends around me. You are aware of disease in a situation. Last I heard, he was at the clinic. 
He was taken by Imperials, my yes. boy. Yes. To add on to that. Not just an everyday Imperium. The Lector. May be grave. According to people that were and I am here to... on the inside, he's doing a line of questioning regarding uh, the recent murder of the Major. Apparently there's a very small through line all the way to the blacksmith. I don't think it's related to our true intentions, but I'm not sure. Apparently it was told to me no. that as long as he keeps his silver tongue going... He should be okay. No, no. M my boy. I've dug a bit deeper than probably I should have. That Lecter is talking of Xenos with him. Mm. And is saying that he is hiding something. That's why I haven't put have my head around. Eyes open. Yeah. Hmm. My boy, you are my charge. What I would request of you is thus far. Go home and pack your things. We might have to leave at a moment's notice. We do not need to be slowed down. And that is your father's orders. Very well. I'll do that now. Do so with haste. Yeah, I heard. Fucking mess. You have no idea. That was the biggest military ship show I have ever been a part of. My brother can attest. Oh, I it was. In all my years, I've never in my life seen a fool march an army right in the front gate and then just say, go. Yep, I heard Kovaz was, uh, <clears throat> interesting leadership. Excuse me, I'm a little pressed for time right now. I'll have to catch up with you later.
It's gonna take a second to chat. Assume Morden somewhere. Is Morden inside? I think he might no. be. Come on, nope. don't help me. Get up. Yep. Don't help me. Change sitting here. What? Changed. Used your gif. Nope. Come on. Nice comfy stool with your name on it over here. Like most of everybody came back. Looks like it. That it was terrible. <sighs> Looked like it sucked. At least we have the quarry back. <laughs> I mean, stone and <clears> ore. <throat> for now. Alright, for now. Uh. Oh, 
Good work. Good work. Good night. Good work. Oh, free drink. Oh. Sweet Not drinks. You. Not you. That's a tempting offer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh well. I'm like an awesome customer. Why not? Talking on them, I already have a barrel of wine left over from Pepper. Uh, I need to get some meat and read before I walk. Oh. Uh, you got this. You okay, Marco? Oh. <laughs> Morden and the pain. Morden and the. I forget his name. His brother are up in the study talking. Why is it every time you go out, you come back covered in blood? <laughs> you know... There's a saying for that. Hello, pot, meat, kettle. I'm surprised you know what a kettle is. Glad you're okay. Not a, not a barbarian, thanks. I'm just... More exhausted than actually injured. Yeah, I bet. Hmm. Still alive, Sif. <laughs> Bunch of southerners can't kill me, you know that. No, I do. As soon as does your bow. I'm sure whoever was on the feeding end did not have a good day, huh? Lost their heads. <laughs> Considering that it oh. was a successful campaign. Are you finally joining us? Yeah, for as long as I can. Hey. And grab a spear yeah. here. Take some foods and cook them over the fire. Tosses a pouch your way. Ooh. There is something quite rustic about this. You might want to. Mm. I only remember we doing this once with my family. On the horse. I figured it would be better to be out of the city. Mm, I see now. It is just a precaution that he had told me. Of course. Better to be safe than... lynched. I'm glad you understand. And how, uh... My gloves. Hmm? Are you still working uh, on those? They are done, so once we go back into town, I can grab them for you. There's no hurry at all. Just curious is all. Yeah. <clears throat> Who 
warmth of a fire reminds you of home, no? Mm, sure. <laughs> Didn't normally spend Maybe much nights by a fire. Yeah. Couldn't Often really build those in nothing uh, lights out. warehouses or alleys. Mm. Well, home is where you make it. For now, it is noticed. That's depressing. <laughs> it really is kind of... Some things are. <laughs> it's okay, though. We are allowed to be sad. Nothing wrong with that. What did you guys get up to today? Uh, <sighs> literally nothing. I have done I nothing all day. Work? I uh, wanted to go way? out there. I wanted to go out there with you all, but not like I can volunteer. Yeah, I heard it went pretty rough. Hmm. Apparently, Kovas had everyone march in the front gates and then say, go. No tactics. Oh, wow. The Dawe are not happy. Yeah, that sounds like something to be upset about. <clears throat> I bought a bunch of toys today. That is my grand accomplishment. <clears throat> Bought a bunch. Did you say toys? For like Vesrin? Yeah, like a little man. No, for me. I um I, I oh, oh, no, I didn't spell that. I I got a little tiny man, like fifty of them. I put them oh. on a Tazim's table. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah I misinterpreted um, what not you meant. Table, his desk. Yeah, and then um I bought a wooden squirrel <laughs> and then I bought a tiny boat. And then I bought oh, a stone snake that is articulated and then I can move. How much did all of this cost? No question, Toffee. Exactly. Not a whole lot. Um, I think it cost a total. Well, okay. Uh, the snake and the toys and all that stuff. That was six silver total, and then the squirrel <sighs> was <two> silver. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we're in the wrong business. Tear it up. You do you. We should be in the toy making business. Yes, we are. Why don't we do <laughs> Tomorrow I console the toy maker. Mm. Pleasure to make yeah. your Yeah! I, I will buy it. Have me whatever make. it is. Oh, let's see. I'll see it. That's the thing. I never know what I want oh, whenever I go to the oh. <gasps> You shoot yes! little marble balls or rocks. Yeah, little, yes. little, little, little rock marbles, whatever we could get our hands on. Perhaps you actually have no idea why I'm so happy about that. I would love a tiny tribute. Um, <laughs> it's a big thing that throws tiny rocks for you, made out of wood. <laughs> it is a contraption, a war machine. One to take down like walls. Throws really big yeah, rocks, really far. Think of Rose. a big arm that throws shit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I've got one of those. Why would I need a wooden one? So you know you have, like, a f you have a spoon. Like Imagine this. Cows. Imagine this. Imagine, mm, it's about the size of eight of you stacked on top of one another. And that is its one arm. You know when you rest your spoon on top of your fork? And you can put food on the spoon, and then you hit it, and it goes whoosh, like that. Do you use utensils? There actually are not any in the tent, and Gurbom has never once given me any. So no. Four. I have the right closest, here. the closest I have ever used is this dagger. That's all you need. That is a utensil. Yeah. It works. So that is like if you... Hmm, okay, so a catapult 
is like if you flung something. Well, something you had flung before. Oh, like the oh, how I threw that guy's body past the camp with the anchor. Uh, I guess that is similar. Similar. Um, okay. Have you ever thrown so, okay, rocks? so a catapult is like if of you course. just toss something I've with your arm like rock that. From the front gate all the way to the top of the hill, I've thrown Severick, Severick across the uh, channel, almost getting him again. all the way. <laughs> while throwing him across the river. If I ever get the opportunity. Yeah, if we put Severick in a trebuchet. Oh, Severick would die back. just from the G Force of the trebuchet. <laughs> I mean, I like, threw him out into the ocean and he still came back. Yeah, I know, but like, uh, uh, if we did a trebuchet, that, like we said, it's like eight of you. It goes whoop, and then they're gone. Several trees and several weeks to be made. Several carpenters. I don't know. Like, I still think... I could throw something farther. I feel like Bjornings can throw things farther than trebuchets. Well, I would put money on it that you could not. All right, Torty, start but making we'll a trebuchet. We come upon a trebuchet. I, <laughs> I, I, now why do you think condition. I know how to make a trebuchet? Because I don't want to do sure it. I'm sure you could figure it out. And I'm too I know old. how to I'll work with you. soft things, not like wood Is that why you spend time with Vesrum? And... <laughs> I knew you were going to Damn. say a joke like that. I know that. we're by a fire, but I didn't think he could get burned. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where is he, anyway? Uh, he, he's soft. at, um... Oof. <laughs> the Casato training folks, apparently. Yeah, I wanted. I was wondering, why is he arming the peasant folk again? Because apparently a it. bunch of them have been missing in the middle of the night, and he doesn't know why, nobody knows why, and so he's um, trying to help, I guess. So he's uh, making sure it's not orcs kidnapping them or something. You know... No, I'm not even going to put that thought into your head. That could... No, go ahead. No, 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 it's just mean. But okay. I'm, I'm sure no noble no, will be... Well, he keeps going I'm away sure on no these... no noble will be upset that peasants are getting... Exactly, first of all. Second right. of all, he keeps going away on these business trips. And leaving you here all alone. Yeah, because... It's a discussion you need to be having with him. At some point. Yeah. But you cannot worry about it now, for there is nothing you can do. That sounds like a skill issue. I can worry about everything I can't do. Mm. You can, but why won't you? Why would you? Mm. It's just Vezrin. If there's something you cannot fix... And you cannot it? fix Vezrin. Be that I know. But I can yeah. fix him. I can fix him. But I can fix him, I swear. <laughs> but, but Kyla, but I, can I can fix him. him. Shariq, I can fix him. <laughs> Really okay, I can the guy. fix this. I, I promise. Tried that many years in a row. <laughs> what a strange day. <sighs> Very interesting. Very really? Active. What was strange about it? Because I've done sh jack all. Exactly. I've done nothing. I don't feel like I've done much, but at the same time, I feel like I've always been busy, you know? Mm -hmm. Strange. Oh. 
Sometimes I do this thing of my body. Excuse me, I'm getting caught on fire. <laughs> Crenshaw, no! <laughs> to Zim, I don't know how to explain this. To don't worry, we can put you out with rum. Um, Hell no! <laughs> I have some bad news. <laughs> so nothing happened in the, uh, in the arena today, Mr. Grinch? No. Didn't have a fight. No fights. Hmm. How peculiar. It's, it's always like a few very days between morning. fights. I see. We get a fight, then there's a few days. And there's another fight. I'd prefer to have it every day if I could, but... You'd run out of people to kill? I don't normally get my way. So you like I've been healed in my mo- It's what I'm good at. I'm good at killing. In this world... And I enjoy it. It is a good thing. I'm glad but... that uh, you have no ill intent with me. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I'm glad that you're no, on this side. Uh. <clears throat> Won't you read? Red on the boats. What do you do afterwards? Do you wait for more books to come out, or do you go make your own books? I don't know. What do you do, Dredge? What do you do, Dredge? When you are done reading all your books. Do you not read Is this books? This how they induct you into the cult. <laughs> no. I also no. We must pause for a moment. <laughs> You're in a cult, Tordy. No. The same one you do. The same one you do. You stare <sighs> at pieces of dead tree and animal skin with weird markings on them and hallucinate. Okay, okay, but, but, hear me out here, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. The, the ravenous caterpillar, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? What did you say? Hmm? Oh, Look, I've, I've what said did nothing. You? Ravenous caterpillar, uh-huh, yep. Continue. Yeah, I, I, I read the uh, ravenous caterpillar no today and we learned. Totally, that's that blank. Totally is. Shut the fuck up. I, I shut up. <laughs> I've got pretty good is eyesight. That, is that blank? That's blank for me, Bucko. That's blank. Yeah. Show no, it to like, Dredge. Look, there's Dredge, a very fat blank? caterpillar on the screen. I'm, I'm going to like make it on my side that there's totally a caterpillar Dredge, right blank? there. Show oh, Dredge. God. Don't there's go a caterpillar the right there. Again. <clears throat> I read the whole thing about the ravenous caterpillar mm. to Dredge. He was in hell, but I mean, it had pictures and everything, real. and we it's learned fake. that like caterpillars turned into you butterflies. Me, Crenshaw. We learned that. <laughs> so, eat as much as humanly possible, and you'll become something better? I don't know if that was the story. I think it was just what that caterpillar for about a month did. And a half. No, it said two weeks. Is that two what the custodian weeks? is trying to do? Oh, no. He evolves oh, into oh, a beautiful no. butterfly. He does look it's about right. as like soft and pudgy as that thing wow. in the book. Yeah, yeah. He even has like the layers. But then again, about. layers. I don't. But then that again, he so is also bad. the only person. Think of uh, an onion. He's about as big as me and about as strong as me. But, but apparently uh, he's just a human. Round. Mm. Yeah, but he's rounder. Very round. I see. Perhaps I'll get to see him. 
Probably. So I take it you haven't been practicing your reading, you haven't been attending Ladia's school. I'm not doing anything with that cult leader. You know she drew a knife on me, right? I don't know what she expected to do with it. <laughs> I really don't, but she... The fact that she did... At all. Yeah, she's got guts. Bye time! Mm. Daytime. Mm. Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> did you not see him walk up? Woods. I did not at all, nor did I hear him. Don't, please don't. Please don't. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare! <laughs> okay, okay! <laughs> no, don't. No, it's called shaking baby syndrome, you, you know what? You know what would have do it to been <laughs> really funny? You will notice that your hands are covered in blood. Hmm, that's not... unnormal. What's ring size on your dredge? Not a lot, but a bit. What ring size are you? Stone mines. What's the size of your ring finger? Or any one of your fingers? Say again. Quarry? He pulls out what looks like a bone ring in pieces. Uh, Aftermath. About vertebra? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's about mm. right. About a vertebra. Vertebra? Interesting way to... I mean, of course, the when I dived in when everything was already over. I mean... Uh... The, the fish lady who used to work near the oh, fort okay. made that from a human spine for me. Mm, I see. Why is it in pieces? Did it break? Sorry, my ear completely cut out. I didn't hear a word you said. Did it break? Is that why you do not wear it? Yes. It's what has happened? broke, yeah. Clenched my hand too hard. Shattered. Well, I'm We've all sure been there. We could it fix if you wanted to. I just don't know who to bring it to since that was, uh, what was her name? Told Riley? you volunteered. Hmm? They could do it. Can you fix it? I have glue. I could try. Sure. Try to fix it. Oh, if you can, God, you can. So if you can't, things. you can't. <clears throat> Give it a go tomorrow. Mm. So after we murder all of the elves, starting with Lorelai. Uh, hey oh, shh. <laughs> Hi. After we Hi. lure Correct. Troll, and then we continue on with our plan. Hmm? Mm hmm? Oh, hello. Don't worry, hello there. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm in the Came out here to train and then I saw all you here. May we join you? Oh, yeah. We're taking over the training area. Oh, that's okay. some logs or whatever. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, plus, I would love to if see you. If you wish, ma'am, you, uh, you can sit here in a proper seat. Oh, God. just mine. Very well. Gosh. You think I could get into knitting? I feel like I'd like it. <laughs> Probably. You could... Yep. Is she not that hard. Lorelai. Do, do well, you know if he came back from the yeah, okay. Haven't heard from him yet. Did he ever get out? No. Oh. Then... Do you... Do any jewelry by any chance? No. Mm. Does yes. That was, uh. Oh, that was the fish lady, Riley or something. Raylan. Raylan, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So clearly she's not here. So. Check this impressive piece. Wow. Look, it has been how long since she disappeared? Where'd you get this? It was the Mogul shop. Sure. Yeah. Had a nice iron two-hander. Ah, the fire is licking mm -hmm. me again. 
<clears throat> Thought I'd train uh, out here with it after a while. Yeah. Good work. God. So, <clears throat> I have a question for you. <clears throat> My good boy. Please never what call me a good boy ever again. What is a that keeps finding his way into... <laughs> Your son. I don't know what to say. But I don't know what, what name do you go by? What's the name? Shariq. What is the name? Shariq. Shariq. This is Shariq. In prison, I was called mitochondria. <laughs> the power Were you the, power the bastard? Of the that was the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, That's who a is really this long that keeps finding his way it is. into the house? Dorst. Uh, no, dwarf. Where? Dwarf. Uh, Are a small you talking dwarf about the hero of Norris? Uh, he never the said anything directly. Sorry. Directly. We call him the home invader of Norris. He calls himself the hero of Norris. He's been arrested, <laughs> what, three times now? He's the, fourth, a, uh, the hero a... we don't want nor need. Oh. Exactly. Okay. If you wanted to be a real hero, you would probably let one out with us. I would have gone with yeah. you, but I can't volunteer on my own. <clears throat> yes, you would need no mm. You would have been a great help. Yeah, I heard that was, uh... Terrible. Yeah, it was. It was Could you redact us of the story if you are comfortable with it? Um, as much as I can tell, I passed out halfway from the pain. As you can imagine, getting shot twice is not pleasure, pleasure of all. Oh gosh, I wouldn't know about that. But, we marched up, up to the camp. Coez, once we were up to the line, begged for their surrender. That they would be given amnesty should they surrender. But they didn't budge, so we had to fight. Uh, we fought on for a while. It was going okay for a little bit. That was until we had to get past the second line of men. That was when the elf from Eshmeth, Alaska got shot in the face. Crumpled like a piece of paper in the water. And then mm. people went off on their own, doing their own things, flanking the archers, which helped, I suppose, but really got themselves caught alone with no support. I tried my best, keeping down the archers, using my own bow. That was the first time I killed someone. I don't like it. I see. It is never a good feeling. You get used to it. Not that you get used to it, but you get numb to it. Which is not good. Mm. Is there a difference, really? In some eyes, yes. Mm. Unfortunately, due to some other things, we were being held up. We got pelted by arrows. Most of us held up fine. We had all the shields at the front. This. So much yelling, so much screaming, so much blood. Terrible. Sounds like poor tactics. It was. But apparently, Kovaz wanted to send a message to the Rubber Baron, so. That he can't lead. I don't know. Logger. <laughs> well, what yes, could they have done differently then? Hey, Deutsch. 
Mm. Uh, Vicar wants, uh, did you get his order done? I have to remember what his order was, hold on. Boots. Let me double check. Well, good news is we have the stone quarry, so. Can rebuild the walls? Yay. For oh, a couple boots. of days, yeah, maybe. Done. Finally! <clears throat> <laughs> we don't have the men to hold it against the robber baron's forces oh. or the orcs for that matter. Well, Hala said right she's going to get all their, her carts to get whatever they can. Be That's away that. from me to walk with you so I may grab my gloves as well. Or are you I'll bring them out to you, don't worry. I'll be right back. Bye well. by mm. me. They did not say save seat, so therefore I might... <laughs> Right. <laughs> so it brings y'all out here for this nice little campfire. Well, so the boy riding on his horse decided to follow for a bit in solo comfy file. And really, so you're huffing it out here huh? now. He's behind me. He's just pitch black. <clears> hmm. <throat> I believe. Yes. Gomez really wanted people to stick near him, which, okay, I guess that makes sense to a degree, but. He wanted to make sure everyone saw that he was on the forefront. He also wanted but to be protected the entire time. By the sounds of things. Would rather <laughs> use one of you as a shield than use himself as one. Sounds like it. Self-preservation is the only type of preservation as being sad. And hmm. even if we were injured at the last part, he, w he wanted all the injured to stand up, make a show of force, so they were powerful in front of the surrendered men. Yeah, well, motivation's a pretty key factor in a fight. But or morale, I should say. Morale is good. I just... I don't even know if I can trust... Kovaz or a man. After that, that was. Terrible. What do you think? The boat? You don't have to. Kovaz, a mem? Wear your hooves. RB. Wear your capes to hide your skin. Tie your hair up so they don't see. We have a plan going forward. We're gonna stick to it. it is fine. <clears throat> you do not have to choose sides here. Okay. At least not now. Well, like I said, I'm in the loop. I know what you guys are doing. We have to do well, I might be out of the loop, but, um, don't do anything too crazy, yeah? Me? No, I'm the safest person don't you ever meet. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but I would do a lot, <laughs> so do that's... whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <That's... laughs> Alright, I'm taking up the knitting. <clears throat> knitting? Looks like we'll be knitting together. <laughs> we knit side by side, backs back to back, right. knitting against the world. I'd, I'd knit side to knit. by side with you, and the world surrounds to the end. And as the world caves in, <laughs> we will knit our way out of it. You have my needles. There's no one I'd rather die beside while <laughs> knitting. You have my needles and yarn. Enjoy. <laughs> Love and you. my crochet. <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> Why didn't you say this? I knew, an, I knew a back route to the quarry. Mm. We caught them by surprise if we wanted to, but I don't think Baron wanted that, so I didn't bring it up. Nah, he Again. looks like the kind of guy who just wants to kick down the front door and just pour in. Even man, the boy, the Mr. Mm. Baron, is there to make a point. He did not care if people died or not. He expected people to die. He 
he's there to put up a big fuck you flag. Hmm. Saying, look at what we got and look what you lost. <clears throat> this probably accelerates your, you know, the plan. Not particularly. We will see. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. What I'm most worried about is Tazim. He hasn't even come out yet. I'm sure he'll be out at some point. Time. That's fine. Told him in here, people, there's certain things we just can't control. Just gotta have hope. Mm. He'll be around. Hope is one thing. Preparation is what I'd recommend. <laughs> Prepare for the fire. That's, that's why I stare at the fire so much. Hi. Pretty impressive. You haven't seen someone move a barrel like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Dredge could do it. Oh yeah, the bees. I mean, I normally just carry it around. Dredge, I have a question for you. If you'd entertain All me. Right. What is the thing that you could hold up with one hand? What's the little heaviest mm -hmm. thing you could hold out? Oh, I thought this was a riddle. <laughs> I thought it was a riddle too. Maybe it is a riddle. Archie, a fucking anchor. Uh, wasn't it like 500 pounds or something? Ang says it's 900. Oh, bored. That's because it weighs as much as Tang, so... Have yeah. you ever seen a skinny Tang's bjorn? actual... Tang said he's 800 pounds. Ah, okay, so it's heavier. Hmm. <laughs> Tang's a little too awkward to hold with one hand, though. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> it's okay. You almost killed Tony. <laughs> Just crunch was no. oh. you saw it. Look, it was an intrusive thought. You saw nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, the, the fire almost went out from just the wind force. Another flame snuffed. I will say this. The Notus skies here are quite pretty. Mm. I like the moon. Does the moon get bigger each, each week? The moon is made like of small. cheese. Oh, okay. It's made of cheese. Yes. I heard Bucci was planning an expedition. I will Bucci. I was about to ask if that's month. where he gets his cheese from. I mean, I heard that, that Bucci keeps rat men in a dungeon beneath his home and milks them for cheese. What the actual shit is a rat man? Can you go to the end of the I don't know. I hope I never Once find you out. Fall off, you'll start to float. There's monsters in between there, though. Hmm? You're heading back already. Yeah, on that note, I'm gonna head back into the city. <laughs> if I have to hear about milking rat men again, I'm gonna throw myself onto the pyre. <laughs> oh. You know what? Honestly, that's All right. After I heard that from your mouth. Debating if he wants to go or not. Yeah, that's the part. Yeah, that's all right.
evening. Evening. I don't know. I guess he's dead. I don't know. Fucker. Has Dazeem left the clinic yet? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. Has Dazeem left the clinic yet? I haven't seen him, no. Hmm. Alright. Fucking drive by. Brap, 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 brap. I'm so hungry. I could eat a whole house. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You don't need to get up. Got it. So, you want the back side or the front side first? No, How dare you? No, stay away from him. 